Okay, hello and welcome to an original We Try This production. Today I'll be teaching you how to add a basic pause feature into your Game Maker game. You can do this in Game Maker Lite or Pro, it doesn't matter. Uh, let's see. So I'm not going to be teaching you how to make a basic menu. I'll be teaching you how to just make a simple pause feature so it can pause your game. Um, this was requested by Chris Tutorials, so thank you. So, yeah. So, first we're going to make a script. I'm going to call my script scr underscore pause. My first script that I made in this tutorial, in this engine. So, in this script, what we're going to do, we're going to start it off by putting a bracket, and then pause equal argument zero. There. So, the, it's going to be a pause is going to equal argument zero. So it's going to wait for an input. You'll, I'll explain it after. So then we want to, um, so we're going to do, like a loop, a do while loop, kind of, keyboard underscore wait. Uh, and little two opening parentheses, closing parentheses. So we have do, um, bracket, keyboard wait. So this is what it'll do. It'll do a keyboard wait. Keyboard wait, semicolon, wait now, semicolon, until, it's ironic, I got this idea while I was studying C++, I got the idea of how to do it, until, I do a keyboard, underscore check, underscore press, was that it, kept press, oh, um, uh, I put the print, hold on, put the bracket there, my mistake, I misplaced it, so keyboard, underscore check, underscore press, I take that back, I was wrong, keyboard, underscore check, leave it at a keyboard, underscore check, parentheses, pause. So pause will become an input variable in its own way. So the variable that we input with it will be the pause. The variable that we input input in the script later will be a. And I'll explain it. So that's basically all we need for this script. No errors. Okay. Now let's make a control object. Now I use too many control objects, so I'm just using an old one. Controller. Then in a step event, in a step event, what you want to do, and control, execute code. Now we're going to call upon the script that we use. So first we're going to do a keyboard underscore check underscore press parenthesis or parenthesis single quote P in capital letters. The P is going to be our pause button. You can adjust it if you like. Uh, another single quote, parenthesis, parenthesis. So keyboard underscore check the P button. What it's going to do, what it's going to do, so I'll put a bracket. Oh, it's sorry. So what it's going to do, it's going to SC, I'm going to call upon the script that we used earlier, SCR underscore pause. Yeah, that's what I named it. And then we're going to do a parentheses, or parentheses, control, single quote, P, single quote. Parentheses, parentheses, end. So what this will do, what we have here, um, this script, since it calls upon script pause, first it checks if we press the P letter on the keyboard. Then it calls upon the script that we did earlier, script pause, and returns the value P, the letter P into that, into the code. What that'll do, uh, hold on, let me just show you guys, let me just copy paste it so I can show you. Okay, I'm just, okay, so I put it here just to show you guys. 
So this is what it'll do. We have a keyboard underscore check press P. So if we press the P letter, it'll return the value P into this script. Right here, script pause. This is script pause. So the letter P will become this. This, the letter P, since we returned it back to the pause, it will become this. It will become the pause variable. So until keyboard underscore check, basically it just means it will return the letter P back into this variable. So let me just remove this really quick. Make sure I didn't mess anything up. So we still have our event. No errors. And I'm going to show you what it would look like. Make sure your pause variable, you probably want to set to persistent so it stays in the room no matter what. And make sure it's in the first room, I guess. So make sure it's in the first room, I guess. OK, let me show you what it looks like. OK, so I have my character select screen. Let me just select my black player. And here we have it. Let me show you how the pause feature works. When I press the P button, it'll pause game. Uh, whatever. Pause. I press the P button and pause the game. Press it again. Unpause. Pause. Unpause. Pause. Unpause. Pause. 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 Uh, uh, and there we have it. Well, this has been an original retry this production. I hope you enjoyed. This is just a basic pause feature tutorial. In my next tutorial, I will teach you how to make an advanced pause menu that looks really cool. It's going to look really cool and not one of those retarded. You have paused the game. Press P to continue. Menus with no added features like save or load or whatever. You're going to have save, load, options, all that good stuff. So until next time.